You know, most people when they walk down the street are not really aware of the buildings around them. So the first thing is to stop, stand on the sidewalk, look at the building that is in front of you. Having looked at the building, then the, act, the activity, the action of reading is looking and truly seeing. In other words, looking at some of the most obvious things. For example, how big is it? What's it made of? Um, and trying to read it in the sense of saying, hmm, it looks to me as though it's been added on to. It looks to me as though perhaps that doorway is not where it was originally. So looking at the clues that the building itself gives you, and that's where the decoding starts to come in, where you begin to understand what this building has done over its lifetime. But there's another part of it too, which has to do with an understanding of why is that building there? Who built it? How come? Why is it different from the building next door? And a lot of that enters into the discussion of decoding. So it's looking at the building, it's literally seeing and reading and thinking and speculating even about why that building is what it is. And then it's going and doing the research and beginning to understand where it is you look in order to understand. So that's the activity of reading and, and decoding a building and, and that's effectively what we're going to do. I have picked a series of buildings that are basically in the downtown core, in the environ of Sherbrooke University, that people will be given to look at. And they will be doing the, the reading, they will be doing the decoding. And it happens in a series of, of steps, basically, that will involve, of course, going out and, and, and looking at them all. So uh, I'm not giving away what buildings we're looking at. What I will say is that it is, it is, it's the ordinary and the extraordinary. It's the buildings that are part of the fabric of the city. So it might be something really quite straightforward. The course is a way for Montrealers to literally look at the city around them, to look at the buildings that they walk past every day and to understand what they are. I think that people know, know more than they think they do about architecture, but often they're afraid and they think that they, they should be more qualified to know. The reality is we all, as people who live in a city, know something about our city and that's, that's, that's part of what I want to bring out.